let's roll. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 Metroid games. Samus, looks like I'm gonna need to ask for your cooperation on this mission. For this list, we've picked the 10 best games with Metroid in the title, although Metroid Prime Trilogy doesn't count, since the individual Prime games have to be ranked on this list. Number 10, Metroid Other M. And the explosion that followed destroyed planet Zebus, along with the remains of Mother Brain. Metroid Other M is, okay, let's just say it's an inconsistent game compared to the rest of the series. <laughs> it removed the series' focus on mystery, giving Samus a rather monotone portrayal with horrendous writing. I had been reliving the tragic moments of my recent past. To be 100% honest, it only made this list because it was either this or a prime pinball for the 10th slot, and we're slaves to our format. A collaboration between Nintendo and Tecmo's Team Ninja, Other M is still a decent action platformer, let down by a terrible, unskippable story. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Number 9, Metroid Prime Hunters. <sighs> Metroid Prime Hunters accomplished something many thought impossible by translating the amazing FPS action of the Prime series to a handheld console. With some of the best graphics seen on the system, Hunters is one of the best first-person shooters you can find on the DS. While the single-player campaign was really repetitive, the online multiplayer deathmatches were the real star of the package here. Overall, some of the magic of the Prime series was lost in the translation, mostly due to the focus on shooting over exploration, placing hunters firmly in the good, but not great territory. Number eight, Metroid 2, Return of Samus. Be afraid, be very afraid. One life-sucking Metroid survived the first Metroid adventure, and it's multiplying rapidly. Metroid 2 Return of Samus put gamers back in the shoes of Samus Aran, except this time she's on a one-woman mission to commit Metroid aside and rid the galaxy of the aliens forever. We'll get to the ethics of Samus's mission later, but Metroid 2 is basically a direct continuation of the original's gameplay. Without any map or hints to guide you, Metroid 2 is a daunting game, made even more difficult by the limited graphics of the original Game Boy. But it's still a fun game that contained a crucial turning point for later Metroid titles. Number seven, Metroid. Metroid is the game that started it all and introduced us to Samus, the badass bounty hunter intent on destroying the deadly Metroid aliens. <laughs> The original Metroid broke so many barriers with its huge explorable world, non-linear gameplay, and controller smashing difficulty. Without any map system to guide you, Metroid is an unforgiving experiment in spacefaring isolation, but it holds a special place in Nintendo's library for its groundbreaking design and fantastic inclusion of a female protagonist. Number six, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. <laughs> Following up one of the most critically acclaimed games ever was no easy task, but for the most part, Prime 2 lives up to its predecessor while introducing several new mechanics and refining Prime's gameplay. It introduced dimension switching gameplay with a light world and dark world that you have to switch between in order to solve puzzles and stop Dark Samus. Oh, and there is a multiplayer mode, but it's pretty forgettable. So just stick with the single player and you'll have a blast. Number five, Metroid Zero Mission. Now, this is how you do a remake, fixing almost all of the issues with the first Metroid game and giving us some new surprises along the way. It features the same general story, with Samus exploring Zebus, which is infested with space pirates, Metroids, and other alien critters, ultimately leading to an epic battle with Mother Brain. The inclusion of a new stealth section made the game feel fresh without losing its nostalgic appeal. As can be expected in a 2D Metroid game, the graphics, controls, and atmosphere are all amazing, 
Though it does lose a couple of points for being a bit short and kind of easy in certain sections, it's still mega solid. Number 4, Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion is, chronologically, the latest entry in the Metroid series, and serves as a metaphor for upsetting the balance of nature, as Samus's genocidal actions in Metroid 2 has led to a new deadly threat in the form of the mysterious X-Parasite. Samus must explore an abandoned research station now overrun by the X, who have the ability to mimic the form of any host they infect, including Samus herself. Despite being a little more linear, Metroid Fusion impressively packed all of the gritty sci-fi action that gamers had come to expect into a handheld package. Also, that scream from Neo Ridley, woo! Number three, Metroid Prime 3, Corruption. Activating various suit. Suit diagnostic. Metroid Prime 3 managed to improve on the Prime series' already impressive immersion by incorporating Wiimote controls that made you feel like you were controlling Samus' arm gun. Beyond the amazing control scheme, Prime 3 also improved upon its predecessors with better graphics, more intense battles, and some awe-inspiring locations. It's also a more cinematic game compared to the other entries in the Prime series bringing in voice acting and a more action-packed story to round off a fantastic trilogy. If we don't make it to the top in time, we can kiss this planet goodbye. Hey, relax. We're the good guys. Justice will prevail and all that stuff. Right, Samus? Number two, Super Metroid. Super Metroid is one of the best games on one of the most legendary gaming consoles ever, the Super Nintendo. Super Metroid features some of the most hauntingly beautiful environments ever seen in a video game, while posing a serious challenge for even the most experienced gamers. With daunting bosses and a huge world, you can search every nook and cranny on Planet Zebes and still only finish the game with a 50% completion rate. Even today, Super Metroid doesn't feel all that dated, which is pretty impressive. Number 1, Metroid Prime. It was a very close call for the number one slot between this game and Super Metroid. In the end, it was our suggest page that decided the top spot, because our staff was split on the decision. Then again, that's how amazing a job Retro Studios did, following up a timeless SNES game and successfully bringing Samus into 3D. It combined the open-ended exploration and gritty atmosphere of Super Metroid with an even more immersive first-person perspective, amazingly rich lore thanks to scanning, and an incredibly atmospheric soundtrack. Retro Studios undoubtedly released one of the best games of all time with Metroid Prime. Do you agree with our list? Which Metroid adventure made you feel cold and alone? It's unbelievable how well you've held up. For more galaxy-saving top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.